Hey, let's look at some new yarns. We have Northwood Fibers. These are so beautiful. Hello, I'm Cadence Kidwell, proprietor here at Fuzzy Goat in downtown Thomasville, Georgia. And you can see all the things I'm talking about with photos you can zoom in on at fuzzygoatyarns.com. Um, Kelly hand dyes in very small batches in uh, Menno Many Falls in Wisconsin in her studio. And her colors just really capture what she describes as the happy ruckus and chaos that her family makes running through their house, the pine surrounding, surrounding their cabin up north, the lake they fish on. These things are just so beautiful and really capture an amazing liveliness. So just, just look at this happy little bundle. Melissa and I found them when we were at market earlier this summer and Melissa had bought some on uh, site and has already made a sweater in those so you'll see some more of that and of course I've got some pattern ideas for you too and I'll talk about what I'm wearing which is in a different yarn and I'll, I'll tell you about that in a little bit but look at these so this one here is called aquarium life now if you wanted to do a two skein project and I'll have the pattern I already have the pattern links up for this yarn this is called uh, Butternut Sock by Northwood Fibers. I already have these pattern links on that yarn page. You could do dotted rays would be beautiful in these two colors. This one here is called Aquarium Life. And this one here is called Deep Sea Diving. Isn't that just stunning? And so it would be really pretty in Stephen West's dotted rays. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the specs on this yarn. It is 80% merino, 20% nylon. So it's a little bit different than the 75-25 uh, combo. And it has 400 yards in it. And it is a fingering yarn. So I showed you those two. If you are still feeling summery, you might want to go with uh, Dreamsicle. Doesn't that look exactly like a creamsicle? and sunkissed so this is dreamsicle and sunkissed and maybe you want to put three together and do a uh, free your fade which is a three skein project here so start with one color and then it gets uh, goes down to the other end you could uh, do that with this light pink here which is beach party or something really fun which is dawn patrol those three would be really great these three I also like together as well. I like this one here is Weaver. I think that might be my favorite. I like a gray with some sass to it. This is Metamorphosis. And you could do the blue or you could end with the blue and I might put them in this direction. I'm not sure, either one. Um, Barbara once knit a um, free your fade in a really stunning where she had two different grays and then the bottom part was orange so don't feel like you need to have all three of the exact same it's really fun because you, you fade them in you kind of stripe them in that way and it turns into something really beautiful and Melissa's got some other uh, ones so we showed you the dotted rays she's got uh, one here called habitation throw from Helen Stewart she's one of our favorites and so that would be really great if you wanted to make a, a lightweight throw for your house. I think that would be really fun with those little dots on it and so forth. You would need four skeins of fingering, which would be perfect if you couldn't quite figure out which four you wanted, how you wanted to narrow it down. But you could just get four like these four right there would be really pretty. Or even the other remaining four would also be equally pretty. Um, then if you wanted to make a top, faded frenzy, you would, depending on your size, you would need three to five. And so you can, you fade them in. So that's really fun. And last but not least, we have this one here, which is frabjously faded. And so though they, uh, used minis, I think you, it would be super pretty and, and um, going in a speckled from one or the other. You could also use our Wonderland gradients for those two, our, our round pinwheels. So that's the fingering in the Wonderland, and we're so excited to have Kelly's Kelly's uh, work here, and as well as to have all of you guys joining in and saying good morning to me. That's so nice of you. Look at that, isn't that pretty? 
Carolina's been working on a free uh, 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 weekender in fingering for a while, and uh, she's completely switched course in what she's going to do, and she's going to use one of these and hers also. So we got those in the fingering. They are already up online. And we also got DK, and we put those into kits. So we got uh, a lot of the same similar uh, colorways in kits for this particular pattern. Of course, you could use those four skeins into something else. You could even make a night shift with it if you wanted. Uh, but we thought these four skeins would be really great in Stephen West's uh, fading waves. And so we've got three different versions for you for that. Um, and it's a DK, and you would use a US 7. And so we have this one, this set here, which we call Dream Sickle. Those four would be really pretty and, and just a lot of fun in that. And then we have these four, which we're calling Bomb Basic. One of the grays in there is Bomb Basic. And then the blue version, which is, what's this one called? Uh, Deep Sea Diving. And so that's the one from Deep Sea Diving. And so these four in a DK can make that. I think my money might be on this one there. I really like that one there. So we're really thrilled to have a new dyer. We have some other new dyers coming. I have to say, did not have a lot of restraint in scheduling this out. I should have thought of that a little bit better. <laughs> when I was um, uh, placing all these orders. but So I didn't have a lot of restraint in saying um, when they should come. So they're coming now and they're coming more frequently than, than maybe I expected. But honestly, with uh, the way things are working, I was like, I, you send it when you can because you know sometimes you don't know and especially with the new dyer but kelly like delivered and delivered on time and even a little bit sooner too and kara no 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 worries i'll get to what i'm wearing today too i love that i feel like i'm on the red carpet what are you wearing um it was knit by lane okay so that is the super fun uh, really great colorways of uh, Northwood fibers. And to go along with that theme of getting things in, uh, you would think maybe I'd get it and I'd hold on to it, but we have no restraint. We get it and, and we got to show it. We got to unbox it. We got to show it to you. <laughs> we gotta... So the uh, Madeline has been making a lot of room in there and we have some things to say about that in relation to bags as well because you know how that goes. But let's get to a little bit more yarn first. We also have been getting in um, a favorite here, Man Manos. I've talked about them several times. Manos del Uruguay, just a really great company. They are in Uruguay. They run women's cooperatives. They uh, employ um, so many women that they are able to fund uh, local schools and education and job training. They just do amazing things all the way around. And um, this is one of my favorites. This is Fino, has amazing yardage in it, 490 yards. And yes, you are seeing a little bit of shimmer because you know how I am about a silk blend. This is 30% silk. Um, and it is a single ply. See if I get close enough. You can see the difference. Let me grab um, one of Northwoods here just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say a single ply. This is plied, meaning that there's at least two different strands twisted together. Maybe you could see that there. And this is just the single strand, but a little bit thicker, though it is a light fingering. Um, this is very similar to uh, my farmer's daughter that's also near and dear to my heart. Um, so look at these, look at this just happy group of colors here. So what can you do with one skein? And then I'll show you what you can do when you can mix them in with some others. So Melissa found this one here, uh, Dragonfly Path. Isn't that stunning? We saw somebody bring this in once and this would just show off that variation in there and that stitch definition and it's very lofty, very light. It would just be beautiful. And you would need two skeins to make this beautiful piece here. So that is really lovely in there. You can uh, also use two different ones and make this one here, which is called Good Vibes, which also makes me extra like it because of our Good Vibes project. So, yep. Yeah. Um, I'll show you also, Joanne, about my shawl pin when I get to uh, what I'm wearing, which is coming up any minute now. 
Um, so for instance, like if you were going to do this one here, I might, you want two that are really different. Um, I honestly think this is really pretty. I would do that. Uh, but maybe you want things that coordinate a little bit more. You could do that. Or you could do these greens here. And um, let me just tell you some of the names of this one. This one here is Diving Bell. This one here is Brocade. This is my favorite. We get this in the super bulky sometimes too. Malachite. Oh, yes. And this lovely yellow here is Topsy Turvy. Kind of, it's a, it's a, um, it's kind of, it's got just the slightest tint of green in this yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marsha likes my shawl pin too. So I love it, Kara, that you just let me do my flow. Sometimes it doesn't flow. Like last week when we had somebody uh, come in and that lovely woman came back and I'm so glad so that I could apologize to her. Oh wait, I need this still but so I could apologize to her because I felt like I didn't make her feel very welcome when she when she came in during the middle of the event actually Melissa's got me all set up over there okay so what I am wearing is um Isabel Kramer's a girl's best friend and it is super fun it's got these pom-poms on the end it's made from Fino and you're thinking yeah Cadence I'm seeing a bunch of colors in there how many skeins do I have to buy we have mini skeins look at this so we have two different colorways of mini skeins and you can make this shawl right here like this um, look at that isn't that fun and so uh, it does use a little bit this pattern um, calls for a little bit more yardage but we have some um, uh, t tricks if you get these how you can make it in that Elaine knit this for us in the sample all right we have a few more of these right now and we'll be getting some more of these this pin is uh, from uh, Two Guys Bow Ties. It has a little thing on the back like that. And so I just stick it through all my, all my things here. I don't like to make a hole in my, in my shirt. I don't mind making holes in my knitwear. It is much more forgiving than my clothing. And then I put that on the back. And there we go. I'm looking over there where we have them on the counter right now. We have uh, this color white and we have some blue and I'll order some more um, to go because I also like to um, hold my sweater. I have my look squirrel sweater and I like to hold it together like that. Two guys bow ties, a little sidebar there. I saw them when my mom was staying with us. One of the shows that we could all agree on was Shark Tank and these guys showed up on Shark Tank. Um, and I think they did get a deal with Mr. Wonderful. Um, but it was really fun and I was like doesn't make great shawl pants they're actually made for as boutonnieres so you could buy them as a boutonniere uh, or you could say you know to uh, anybody who's wearing a boutonniere look at this thing I got you and then they'll rarely wear it because how many times do they actually need a boutonniere and then the rest of the time you can use it as a shawl pin um, so we have these two colorways and these little minis I just love a mini and so we've got some sample other things you could say so you could do a girl's best friend in that um, you can do this shawl pattern. You would need two bundles. This one is crocheted and it's rainbow showers. So you you would need two of those and you could actually use um, two different ones. You wouldn't have to have the same two. And then this one, uh, Melissa is doing, she is doing Daisy, what's it called? Uh, Daisy Lady with one of these bundles up at the top as her color work. So those are really fun, but I think where they also really shine, which is how uh, Melissa's gonna do that, is she's gonna uh, combine that with another solid down at the bottom. They also really shine when you put them together with, um, oh, this is the one I've been looking for, right here, okay. Um, so we have, we have these right here. So there's, you could put the gray with these here. I love it when Melissa gets me all set up like that. And you could make this pattern here, which is called Garden Gate Shawl. So you'll need a full skein and then some minis to go with it. And you can make that. It would also work really well in James Watt's Pure Mesh Pullover. Um, the full skeins would. But you can also combine it with, uh, with that Good Vibes. Let's see, where did my Good Vibes go? Here is Good Vibes. So you could instead of just using two solid ones you could use one solid and then use the minis 
and all those different stripes. And some of your stripes you, you might need to repeat to make that work. But look at these. Aren't they really pretty put together like this? Like this one. So this is the Phoebe set along with Diving Bell. And if you wanted to do that, you could also make the giant, uh, not the giant, the full size A Girl's Best Friend. But I really think this is plenty. Plenty for me. Um, okay, so that's the yarn. You can also text us uh, for ideas at 229-236-GOAT. So if we showed you some and you wanted to see more of what's going on or how they look together, you could do that. And then, yes, indeed, I have some new bags. All right, so Melissa and I went to the yarn market, the market that had the yarn. And it was fun. I loved seeing my friends, my their yarn shop friends. I loved that people knew who Melissa was because they'd been watching Facebook Live and her, their customers were. But there weren't as many interesting bags. So um, Caroline and I went to the Atlanta gift market, uh, which was really easy because it was just up and back. It wasn't very far. And we found you some bags. Not that we needed more bags but we could not resist these bags okay so let me show you this one here this one Kara I'm thinking of you this one is super fun okay so I got I have two of every color um but this one I got six of because it's a limited edition and it's really fun and they call it bold camo so uh it's a backpack it's sustainable. They, I, I'm looking at my notes down here. 12 or more plastic bottles are may, are used to make these bags. And so they're uh, made of completely sustainable nylon. And it's, um, and it, but it's coated to, um, I mean, I'm looking at my, again, I'm looking at my notes. It goes through a softening process. So it really has a softer feel. And it's got like one of the requirements, besides being really attractive, is that it has pockets and it's got pockets so again this is not necessarily made well it's not made for knitters but it sure would work for knitters you could put your phone and your wallet and the essential parts for life in here and all the essential knitting parts in here you could put your pattern on the other side here and there and you can um we've got another zippered pocket in there so and it's super lightweight which i also like because i don't like i've been having shoulder problems so i don't like things to add to the weight of stuff so we've got this in a this is the small backpack size and then if this is a little bit too much color i didn't bring all of them because we've got about four colors in each size but here's another color i brought over this is coral um but here's the larger size that we have this is actually the medium and so this color is called corn isn't that funny i just think that's so funny so the exact same um things are going on in there but just in a bigger size but still really lightweight and they have the greatest story so i uh put this on our product description ori uh o-r-i london they said it's the uh combination of their founders emma and brett and their typical british weather so brett had moved to uh london to be with emma and after being out in uh one day in a typical downpour that happened i guess it happens all the time i haven't actually been to london um he uh what he said started off as a sunny day ended with a traditional uh british downpour and he came home soaking wet and everything he had was soaking wet and even his backpack and he was like that's got to go he saw people walk into from offices and meetings and going out after work and all sorts of things and he decided that they needed a way a water resistant bag and that's the same thing that happens here it get it starts pouring I actually have some galoshes that I can wear home um, if it does that so I don't ruin my shoes. But my bag gets wet. So now the stuff in my bag will not get wet because I'll have one of these. So uh, we've got the, this is the medium and then this is the small size. And then I could not resist this because it was so super cute. And now I'm going to have it going. Here we go. Which is the round, it's called the Paddington. Um crossbody so you can adjust the strap and use it as a crossbody and maybe this is your purse 
while you have your knitting bag. But you could you could put a small sock project in there too. There's a pocket on the outside and a couple pockets on the inside. And I just love that it's all sustainable, made from recycled materials uh, that they use. Uh, even the little straps are vegan on there. And so those are really fun too. It's just a really beautiful, colorful week this week at the shop um, the, with the website that went down. <laughs> Or later this week and you guys are really great gracious to uh stick with us uh it was a, it's been a rough week so it was always what it's like i'm gonna tag some yarn i'm gonna sort the yarn it'll all be good marcia says she has four of those and she loves them three purses and a backpack you go marcia i should have asked you i should ask you what kind of bags you have that we still don't have here you guys can always tell us and we will go and hunt those down let me show you before i sign off how i'm coming i'm coming along really great on my black thorn i am now um, in the first sleeve so i'm down at the bottom of my first sleeve i can't not wait i'm really proud of myself because i uh you know we're in the middle of august and it's hot as heck i will clearly be through with this by the time there's days i can wear it and one i've really followed the pattern pretty exactly i think the only thing i'm going to do different is i saw on ravelry a few people ended they bound off in their in their contrast color so i think just a little bit of red around there will be great and i'm glad i didn't do it at the bottom because i'm not sure i wanted a, a line a, di a distinct line right around there but i'm loving this um ribbing isn't that cute with this little baby cable in there yeah yeah so that's what's uh one of many things that's given me joy in the uh middle of uh website stuff and you as well I'm going to go put, uh, make sure all the links are up and you guys can text us at 229-236-GOAT if you want to see how to put together any of these great bundles and, um, or what to do with the Northwood fibers. Uh, oh yes. And we have those sunflower stoppers right here at the shop, Peggy, we've got them in there. So thank you so much for you guys tuning in this Saturday. I hope you have a lovely one, Melissa and Jennifer, and I will be here to serve you all day long. Thank you.